Hi, this is Kara from Karen Co Creative. If you're new to me in the channel, we do both done for you and DIY websites and all manner of online business systems. Today, I have another kit tutorial showing you how to automate a series of emails that when somebody signs up for a form, they get emails dripped out to them automatically. So I'll take you over my shoulder and we will go over the pieces of that. Make this smaller. All right, so here we are in a kit account. You do need to have a creator or paid version of kit in order to do this. So the first thing that you need to know is that the steps for this are broken up. So in kit, we have the send tab here and sequences. This is where we actually create the sequence. And then we have the automate tab and visual automations. And this is where we'll actually program the sequence to send out. So here we go. If we come over to sequences, we'll create a new one. And it doesn't matter you're just picking a template. Um, you can add to this as much as you want to once you're in here. So don't worry too much about that. Your options are a little bit limited anyway. But here, this is where you will write your subject. If this is a welcome sequence, this would be the welcome, the welcome email. It might also be the your free gift email. I do have another video linked below that will show you how to send a free gift in the free account. If you do have the paid account and you want to have a nurture sequence, an entire series of emails, this is the way we'll do it. Um, one thing that you do want to know is if this is the lead magnet email or something they need to get as soon as they sign up for the form, you'll notice here the default here is send this email after one day. You want this to go immediately if it's. So you toggle that down to zero days if you do want this to go immediately likewise if it's immediate and you want them to get it immediately you have to make sure that every single day is checked if this is an email that you're sending out doesn't necessarily need to be right when they sign up you might choose after one day and you might choose not to have it go out maybe on a saturday or a sunday people are less likely to be in their inboxes all right but if you want to go immediately make sure this thing is selected and then here is where you will delete all of their text here and you can add your email content hi um, if you want to do a first name you click this little at sign subscribe our first name message you'll see type to add blocks you can also sort of hover where you see this plus sign and this is where you can add a button you can also add different layouts. Why is it not? Delete that one second. All right, but the button is here. Image. So those are the options you have. You can style this a little bit. So you put your message in here. If you need to add another email, we come over here, add an email. Send this email if you want it to be one day after that first email do one day if it's three days you do three days and this is where you might choose to unselect saturday or sunday if you don't want the email to go out on the weekend again you need a subject and then you would edit the content of this email publish this one we didn't publish. So you'll notice you have to make sure the drafts aren't showing up and email and again, so on and so forth. You can have as many emails as you want. And again, you can drip them out and you can drip them out hours after each other. That might be good for a launch or just one day or two days, three days, seven days for a week. You get it. All right. So once this is all done, you'll notice you have to publish each of your emails. This one won't let me do it because nothing's subject. All right. So publish. <clears throat> Once we have a sequence in here, we can go over to the automation tab. You might want to change the name of the sequence first so that you have a better idea of what this is. So we'll call this welcome sequence test. Now we'll go over to automate and visual automations. So this is where we'll go ahead and start an automation that will tell ConvertKit to send out this automation when somebody has signed up. If you don't have a trigger event, you'll have to create that first. 
So by a trigger event, I mean, what does someone do to get this email sequence? Typically it's going to be, they signed up on a news form. So the landing pages and forms are over here. You will have to create that and embed it on your website first. Again, link below for a video showing you how to do that. So make sure you have a form first, and then we'll go ahead and create the automation. If the automation is triggered by a purchase, I will have videos linked below showing you a few different ways you can do that depending on how your purchase is being triggered. All right, so add new automation, assuming we're doing the form route, start from scratch, start building. So here automatically selected is joins a form. You'll go ahead and select the form that is the one that's corresponding to the sequence you just created add event. I do typically like to make sure that everyone's tagged so I can look at a contact and know what they've opted in for. So here, let's we'll see the ebook burnout. You see there's an ebook burnout tag in this account to correspond with the sign up that they did. They get the tag. Um, you can also add them to a list segment as well. Um, but the next step would be action, add a subscriber to an email sequence. And ebook delivery burnout. We'll choose this one instead of the sequence test. And then next, we could end the sequence, which we don't need to do anything for, just the end. Or there are options if they haven't booked a call with you or done different things, you can build out this sequence further, um, the automation. But for most of you, this will be enough. They've opted in for the lead magnet, they're getting a sequence of emails as a welcome series and nurture sequence. And hopefully in those emails, you're plugging other products or to book a call with you and they run through all of this. And that is the purpose of your email list. All right. So there you have that. Um, again, links for some of the other pieces are below. If this video is helpful to you, I would love it if you could subscribe and give the video a like, and we'll see you in the next one.